G'day everyone, welcome back. Now hopefully those of you who are working on your hip action with your and the straightening of your legs in your basic rumba, it all went well and now it's time to add on to it. So we're going to do two basics, three side breaks, I'll do an alamana turn for the girls um, and we'll also do your sidewalks and a kukaracha. So those of you, because you've practiced your basics up to now, we should be able to go a bit faster. I'm doing the men's steps right now. So fellas, my left leg's locked, my right knee's bent, and I go to the side and lock. Then I go forward with my left leg, locking my left. Then I go back, locking my right. And remember, whenever I say I'm locking my right, you know I'm bending my left. To the side, locking my left, and obviously bending my right. Here comes my back basic. Now, by the way, whenever you lock your leg, I forgot to mention in the other video we did that your heel must be on the ground when you're locking your leg, not when it's bent. Then it comes forward and I lock again. And the other thing I forgot to mention as I step aside on my right foot in Latin American dancing, as you watch me do my C-shape, we always turn our toes out. So I'm just going to come in the center of the screen for you. My left toe is facing that way, out towards my left shoulder. My right toe is always that way. Whether I'm doing a forward basic or a back basic, doesn't matter. So now I step back and I'm pretending now I've done two basics and I'm locking because I really can't remember to be honest with you and locking and notice how my hips are moving with the locking of every leg. Now I go to the side. Now I'm just going to adjust myself. I've gone from dance position to holding one hand. I now drag. Now notice I'm dragging my knee through and I'm on the inside edge of my left toe. Now whenever you're doing a forward basic or a side break or even a Latin American walk which I'll address uh, in the videos coming up because it was an idea I just popped in my head then. You must always be on the inside of your big toe. So the inside edge of your big toe. We don't want the whole surface of the, of the foot because that causes too much drag. So we've got the inside edge of our big toe. We step forward and lock and we bend down the knee in. Now we go back onto our right leg and we face our partner. Fellas, now we're bringing our right knee through. Inside edge of right knee, inside edge of the big toe. Step forward on the right leg and lock your right leg. Locking your left to the side, locking. Now we go for left foot, locking, locking to the side, locking. Now as the girls do the Alamana turn. A couple of uh, tips fellas, when you do your last side break, and some she guys call it New Yorkers, that's fine. New Yorker side break, all the same thing. Remember, you, your side breaks on New Yorkers, they're basically a forward basic. So it's the same technique. But hold the hand on the last one. So you don't let go of the hand. Then lift it up and the policeman stops on. And you do a back basic as she does the Alamana turn. Locking and locking to the side and locking. Now, as you do your rumba side walks, your legs don't really lock. One is just more bent than the other. So my left leg at this stage is really bent, my right one not so much. And then it changes. Now my right one's really bent and my left one is straightened, but I wouldn't call it locked. Then I would go bend my left, straighten my right together. Now my right leg's really bent. Bend my left, straighten my right. So there's your sidewalks. And remember we always go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now your cooker arches, great step cooker arches. I step slightly outside my hip. I'm on the inside of my left foot. I place my weight onto it and I just stop my weight from transferring as my left leg is locking about halfway across the top of my foot. Right now I'm then going to transfer my weight back to my right. Now look how much my right leg is bent, and you can see I rolled on the inside of my ankle and the inside of my knee. Then I come back and I lock there together. So I did a terrible job of that. Let me do that one again. So we go left foot and I go to locking. Now my right leg is bent. As it straightens, it's locking as my left leg comes together. Now you notice my left has come to my right, but it's bent. But now we will straighten. And then I will step out. Notice my right leg's really bent. Can you see that I've, I'm also rolling on the inside of my right leg and my left leg is locked. And I go two, three, four, one. 
and I'm going to straighten for the 4-1. Now I need to do that with the count for you. So here I am, I'm locked on my right leg, I'm stepping into my left which is bent, and it is 2, set them away, 3, come back, 4, 1, and go, 2, 3, 4, 1. Just ignore the time of that first kookaracha, that was a load of nonsense, I'll do it again. <laughs> it's just like being in class, isn't it? And we go, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, 1 as I transfer, all right? Now I've got to do the girls. Now girls, I'm going to do this front on. Normally I film my back, but I think just to get things going, you know your basics. So here I am as a lady, I'll do a back basic first, 4, 1. My big thing is I want to teach you, girl, I'm on a turn. Locking, locking to the side, locking. Toes turned out, locking, locking to the side. Locking, go back, locking, locking to the side. Now let's pretend that we've done our two basics, coming up two, three, four, one. I've just lost count where we are. Now we're going to do our side breaks. Go, locking, locking to the side. Now if you've been watching the man's thing, you know it's all the same. Two, three, four, one, locking. Then you go, two, three, four, one. Now girls, you're going to do an alamana turn. You step with your left leg diagonally in front of you. It's crossing out my body slightly. Now my left leg has locked. As I turn, I keep my right heel a bit hard on carpet. Keep my right heel down. Notice my right knee is very bent. I'm going to keep turning girls. I'll turn around to face you in a second. Then diagonally this way, I step forward on my right foot and locking to the side locking. Now as I'm going with this, things are popping in my head that I've forgotten because this is a new frontier for all of us. One of the most important things that I've got to tell all of you is in Latin American dancing you always lead with the toe and ball of the foot. So you push your feet along the floor like it's a sand scraper. In your ballroom you'd lead with a heel but in Latin American it's the ball of the foot. So girls, let's do that Alamana turn again. So you go left foot diagonally. So there's right angles or straight out from my right shoulder I'd be stepping that way so left foot turn out push your hip right out as you turn you're grinding that left heel into the ground hopefully not as jiggy as what I just did go forward in your right leg and locking to the side locking then from there girls you're going to do your side walks you go right knee really bent now not so bent as the left knee is really bent right knee really bent Straightening as the left knee becomes really bent. Right knee really bent. Straightening as the left knee really is not so bent. That becomes really bent, sorry. And now you're ready for your kookarachas. From here, really bend your right leg. Inside edge of foot. Transfer your weight. Don't go too far across. See my hip transferring across. My left knee is bent. And I come back together. Then it goes two, three, four, one. Now my right leg's... Bend, my left leg is locked. Two, three, four, one. So just talking you through the bending there. Right knee really bent, placing your weight onto it as the left leg straight uh, bend. Sorry, so it goes bent to straighten, come back together, bent to locking, come back together. Alrighty, everyone, thanks for another great session. We'll do some uh, hand-to-hands and more Alamana turns on another day. Enjoy. See you soon.